little girl. I had to pick cotton. And we got $3 if we picked 100 pounds of cotton that day. I just looked it up on the internet. And the farmer that was paying us $3 for 100 pounds, he would put it in a bale. It looked like this. But larger, of course. And he would sell that bale, which weighed anywhere from 495 pounds to 500 pounds of cotton. And he got a lot of money for that. If we picked a bale of cotton, say this was 500 pounds. So that's 500 times $3 for each pound. That's not a whole lot of money. And my grandmother, she picked 200 pounds a day. So she got six effing dollars. I never could pick 100 pounds in that one day. So I never got the effing three dollars. But just for you who want us to forget the things that the white people have done to us, forget it. I'm not forgetting it. I got some other stories to tell you, too. About how, oh, I didn't tell y'all this. My mother's white. How my mother went to the store and left us outside, but I had to go to the bathroom. So I went and tugged on my mama's coattail and I said, Mama, I have to go to the bathroom. And the clerk in Belt Tyler, which is now Belts, said, is that nigger yours? And mama said, yes. She said, well, get your ass out of here. When I was a little... Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father, who this word only calls God. Yahweh Shah is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word only calls Jesus. Bahashem in the name and Rakak with Das in the Holy Spirit. Back at it again with another lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. And I pray that this lesson is edifying. And I want to begin at James chapter 2, verse 13. And it reads For he shall have judgment without mercy that has showed no mercy, and mercy rejoice against judgment. And this is speaking about Esau Edom. All right. He shall have judgment. He, for he shall have judgment without mercy. And this is what's coming, you know, upon you so-called white people, man. Because of your dealings and how you dealt treacherously against the nation of Israel, okay? Yahweh Bashem al Shah says, you know, you're going to have judgment without mercy, man. Because that's what you did to Jake, okay? And we're also going to get that next. But, um, um, let's get 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 and it reads but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day so your how about shamal shah has not forgotten what you have done to the apple of his eye man the children of israel okay you so-called negroes latinos and native americans man and uh you know you israelite foreigners that have been scattered among the nations man Yahweh Bashem al Shah has not forgotten, man. And the clip, you know, which is, which, you know, you, you guys have seen in the beginning of this video, you know, <laughs> even Jake say they ain't going for it, man. Jake not forgetting how you have dealt, you know, with them, man. The treacherous things that you have done, all right? You know, the world wants to forget, you see? And that's how we know Esau Edom is the damn devil, man. Because what does he say? He says, to never forget 9-11, to never forget that patriotic day, even though we knew that was all a setup. But um, the transatlantic slave trade, Jim Crow, you know, the time when Jake was being trotted down, you know, they tell you to forget that, man. See, Esau Edom wants to erase his history, man. But your help, Ashim al Shah, has not forgotten, man, the things that you have done. And you're going to have to pay for that, man. You're going to have to pay for what you have done, Esau. You see, and Esau Edom is trying to escape his judgment 
But Yahweh Bashamal Shah has not forgotten. And let me get Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5, and it reads, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Now let's go into this word perpetual, man. Because you you know, Jake, you know, Jake has something that's called sight um that's called Stockholm syndrome, man. You know, when you go into Stockholm syndrome, is when you have been captive, you know, if, if um when you have been captive, you know, you start to love your um, you know, your captor. You know, the person that has uh kidnapped you, you start to love your kidnapper, man. And that's what Jake has that that's that's what Jake has, man. Jake has Stockholm syndrome. They've been over here in Babylon, they've been over here in America too much. Hey, they fell in love with the oppressor. And you can see that, you know, with our woman. You can see that with our men because they choose all his ways. So Jake has Stockholm syndrome because they've been over here in captivity for so long, man. They've been oppressed for so long. They don't think that Esau Edom is the devil, man. They don't think Esau Edom is, all right, <laughs> doesn't have him under derision. And let me get, um, did we get, uh, Oh yeah, Salak, we're looking up that word perpetual for edification's sake, and then we're gonna move on, Lord willing. Okay. Perpetual and it says Strong's H fifty seven sixty nine Olam Olam. Okay, the word is Olam and it says long duration and it says Forever, ever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient, world. And it says forever, always, continuous, existence, perpetual. Okay. So hey, in the time of uh, uh, when Esau was in power, because we know Yahweh Bashem al has given him that great sword, has given us, uh, has given Esau that power. All right, to tread among the wicked of his people. Okay, so we even though we know Yahweh Basham al Shai has given them that power, hey, but they they took it too far, man. The scriptures speak about have they how they have broke the brotherly covenant, man. Okay, so Esau Edom has dealt treacherously with Israel, man, and you know we can't even go, you know we can't go far enough to say what they have done, but Esau Edom has to pay, man. All right, and let me get um going back let me get revelation revelation chapter 13 verse 9 and it reads if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth the, into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints so that's right man so esau edom took Jake in a captivity so the same thing has to happen unto them but the scriptures say it's gonna be double it's gonna be worse man okay so you're gonna have a time where Esau Edom is gonna be at the bottom okay he's gonna have to he's gonna have to be a slave man all right and let me go back to Ezekiel the 35th chapter because I don't think I finished it Salaki, and this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5 because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, speaking about our our, our captivity, and in in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So if thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. That's right, man. Esau Edom loves blood, man. All right, he has taken over this place by force. He has taken over this place by blood. That's how America was um, founded. It was confounded on rape, rob, murder. Okay, so that's how this place is gonna end, man. Okay, that's how this uh, America is gonna get taken down. It's gonna get taken down by the missiles first and foremost. But the same way how Esau got in it, that's the same way it's gonna be taken out, man. All right. And those troubles are coming over here in America, man. But let me get um uh second Maccabees. If I'm not mistaken. Yup. Yup. 
This is 2 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 31, and it reads, And thou, thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, shall not escape the hands of the Most High, because we suffer, for we suffer because of our sins. And though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. That's right. Because like it says in Baruch, the third chapter. Oh, matter of fact, let me go and get it right quick. Baruch chapter three. Is it three? All right. This is Baruch chapter four, verse six. And it says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because he moved, because he moved the Most High to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. That's right. We had to go into a uh, hardcore slavery because our disobedience against Yahweh Bashemal Shah, because we didn't keep the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, we didn't keep the Heavenly Father's law, statutes, and commandments. But it says, it says not for your destruction. So we're gonna be at once. You go, we're going to be at a one with Yahweh Bashamal Shah again. And Yahweh Bashamal Shah is building building up us right now. And, um, all right, let me go back to 2 Maccabees, the seventh chapter. All right. And verse 34, and it says, But thou, O godless man, and all, and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puffed up without uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the servants of the Most High. For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the Almighty Power, who seeth all things. That's right, man. So you Edomites have, have, you Edomites have not escaped the judgment of Yahweh Bashem al man. See, and that's why Esau Edom is trying to advance his NWO, man. Because he know if that he had but a short time, man. You see, Esau Edom has uh, piled up a bill, and now he doesn't want to pay, man. But you how Bashmal Shah is requiring that blood at your hand, man. Because you have done all the wickedness that you see. You know, right now I'm sitting at a bench, and you got these trees on concrete, man. You got grass sitting on concrete. All right, you everywhere you go, you cut the trees. You trying to build more infrastructures everywhere you pollute the water you play with the food okay and it's much more wickedness being done man scripture speak about uh spiritual wickedness in high places man yeah how about some Shah has not revealed unto us all the wickedness of esau edom and he will in that time man but esau edom has a bill to pay man and yeah how about some Shah is recurring that blood man he's recurring esau to pay that bill and he will man in the kingdom of heaven you so-called white people are gonna be slaves man whether you people believe it or not because the scriptures say so okay and let me get um go to the additions of esther we go to verse one okay verse one uh not verse one chapter one and let me get let me start at verse We get verse 7 and it says and the two dragons are i and ammon and the, uh and ammon is it, it comes from the bloodline of esau and the two nations that were and the two nations were those that were assembled to destroy the name of the jews that's right going back to psalms um let me fact check that right quick psalms the 83 psalms the 83rd chapter how all these nations have have conspired against to cut off the name of Israel, right? Let me see if that's Psalms. Yup, Psalms chapter 83. It says all these nations have been confederate, okay, against the nation of Israel. And it says, in my nation is this Israel, which cried to the Most High and were saved. For the Lord has saved his people and the Lord had delivered us from all those evil and the Most High has has wrought signs and great wonders and have not been in Salakia, which have not been done among the Gentiles. 
Okay, and it says, therefore, he had made two lots, one for the people of the Most High and another for all Gentiles. And it says, and these two lots came at the hour and time and day of judgment before the Most High among all nations. So the Most High remembered his people and justified his inheritance. Okay, so meaning that. Yahweh Bashem al Shah is not dealing with everybody, man. Israel is going to be saved, man. The kingdom of heaven is going to be for the Israelites, man. It's not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be for you so called white people. It's not going to be for you so called Japanese, so called Chinese, so called Indian, okay? The, it's only going to be for Israel, man. That's what the scripture said, okay? It says he made two lots, man. One for the people of the Most High and another for all Gentiles, man. So Yahweh Bashmal Shah is going to justify Israel, man. Start foremost with the elect, but all you different nations, all right, that have played a part in the downfall of Israel in that time, hey, you're going to have to pay for those sins, man. Thus saying the scriptures. So, you know, through the spirit, I wanted to make this lesson, man. It was on my spirit to make it. And I pray, you know, that it was edifying, man. But till next time, call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone at Ruel. Till next time, you know, Shalom, Baba Ba, Kwam Yashallah, Shalom.